Welcome back guys to another part of our tutorial. In this video we'll finish what we have started in the last one. We'll complete our authentication process. In the last video I told you that we'll create two methods, but to keep things simple we'll actually create only one. So we'll authenticate to Firebase and add the user to our Firestore database in the same time. So I'll remove this method call. Before we create this method, there is one more thing that we need to do. We need to initialize our Firebase auth and Firebase Firestore objects. And for that, we'll need to create two global variables. Private Firebase auth, Firebase auth, and private Firebase Firestore, and let's name it root ref. Now, Let's initialize them in our own create method. So, Firebase auth is Firebase auth get instance, and our root ref is Firebase Firestore get instance, and that's it. Now let's create our Firebase sign in with Google method. We have private void. We are using only one argument. Now let's create the auth credential object, which is equal with Google auth provider get credential. Now we are passing two arguments. First is Google sign in account get ID token and null, null for the second argument. Now we can call sign in with credential method on our, on our Firebase auth object and pass our auth credential object. Now we can add a complete listener, pass this as the first argument and the new uncomplete listener as the second. Don't forget the semicolon. Now in uncomplete we will use an if statement. If task is successful, we can get data from our Google sign in account object. So we have string user email equals Google sign in account get email, string username equals get display name, and the last one is the token ID which is equal with Firebase instance ID, get instance, get token. Now we can create an object of user model class by passing these values to its constructor. Do you remember this from our first video? This is the guy that I was talking about. Now we have user user model equals new user model and you are passing user email as the first argument, username as the second argument and the token ID as the last argument. Now we need to add this user to the database. If you remember from our third video, the location in which you need to add the user is beneath user collections and user email document. So let's get the reference. Let's, let's get root ref collections and pass users. Let's call document and pass user email as a argument and call set and pass user model as an argument. Now we can add unsuccess listener and that here a log statement. Let's say user successfully created. Now we can add also the else part of our statement and add a new log statement. And let's say failed with 
and add the our task get exception. And that's it with our method. But guys, there are two more things that we need to do within the login activity. First, we need to check the state of authentication every time a user opens the application. To achieve this, we need to add an auth state listener. So let's create another global variable. and initialize it in our own create method. In this method, we'll check the existence of the Firebase user. To get the Firebase user object, we can call getCurrentUserMethod. Here, we can use an if statement. So if the Firebase user is equal to null, we can create an intent. And pass as the first argument the login activity and the second argument the main activity class. This means that if the user already exists, we finish the login activity and redirect him to the main activity. The last thing that we need to do is to implement the onStart method. This is needed because this is the place in which we'll actually add the listen. So let's implement it. Now, we can get the Firebase sort object and call odd state listener and pass the odd state listener object. Our work is done with this activity. So once a user has successfully signed in, is redirected to the main activity. In this activity, we have to do only two things. First, we can get the username from our Google sign in account object. So let's do this. and call get license and pass this as a context. Now we can use an if statement. If Google sign in account isn't equal to null, then our username is Google sign in account get display. The second thing that we can do is to toast the message. So toast, make test, pass this as the first argument, and let's say welcome username. The last argument, let's make it long and call show in the end. Now let's test this in our emulator. I have already started mine. Let's sign in, choose this account, and it works. See the toast message? Now, let's take a look in the Firebase console. And as you can see, the user was also added into the database. So we have successfully signed in with Firebase and created our first user in the Firestore database. In the next video, we'll do some tweaks to our code and we'll implement the sign out options to our app. So hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.